first step is to add your hot information uh, in the data uh, provider. First, we also, as always, we investigate the, the data first. Open the attribute table. And I see here is the what information that we have available. Important uh, field here is the word ID. And we're going to, so secondly, we must add the two spreadsheets. First, we uh, open the uh, browse to the location of that spreadsheet. It is the ones that I'm going to use is word age. I'm going to add word age, which is basically connecting. The sheet is, uh, is okay. I see that I already type in uh, that it must ignore the first nine lines, so the fields are, are correct. The only thing that I'm going to change here at the end is that I want this above 60 to be a real number, the total real number as well. It's okay, and you will see it appears here in the uh, layer. As a layers. The next one that I want to add is the word gender because I'm going to use that total. Let's see here again in this one for, for word, uh, word gender we used a zero uh, lines to ignore. Again we see here that the, the fields are named correctly. Again I'm going to make this real as well not strings so I say okay and now I have my two uh, indicators or the uh, spreadsheets the tables also in my QGIS project so the next thing that I'm going to use is I'm going to join the two spreadsheets to my word shapefile join add a join again let's start with the word age remember that word id i'm going to link it to my word id as well and because i'm not going to use all that different age categories i'm only going to use this above 60 and i'm going to make sure that i know that is a word age so i a field prefix okay there's my first join. The second join will be a, a for join a for gender. Again, word ID, word ID. Here I'm going to also only join the uh, join the total. Again, a custom field name prefix. I'm going to delete that so that I know it is word uh, gender. I say okay. And there's my two joins. Okay. Hopefully it joins. So if I open my attribute table, I see there's my word ID, there's my word age above 60, the age indicator, the word gender total, the population indicator. So that is linked. So I can go now to the next phase of my, of my classification or combining the two. As I've said, now I must classify the, the data so that I can join them. And we use uh, the range um, classification to identify five categories per, per indicator. So I will start with the first one. First one that let, let's use age. I'm going to uh, create a symbology. I'm going to use this graduate. The value that I'm going to use is this age above 60 and I'm going to use this natural breaks mode. So there's my five categories for age. So I'm just going to, to okay that so I can see. So I have identified five classes. 37 to 690 is the first one and the last one is then uh, 3,403 3, until 7,371. What I must do now is to uh, add classes to that, and for that I use the field calculator. I open the attribute table. There's my information. Again, I'm just going to, to rank it. 
just to see it more clearly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select the records between 37, where the uh, age is between 37 and 69, 690. That means there's not a lot of older, uh, older people in that ward, so I'm going to classify this, that as one. I'm going to classify this uh, larger portion to uh, five, but I will show you the process or one or two of the classifications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to class that as one. So I go back to my attribute table. I'm going to select by expression. The fields that I'm going to use is this word age. And as I've indicated here, it is from uh, 37. So you can say it is larger and equal to 37. And smaller than 69. Smaller than 69. Or uh, 690. So that is my criteria that I'm going to use. A selection. Uh, the reason I use and because it must equal both these expressions. So then I say select features. And there is then 1909 match records or words. So I've indicated that classification will be then one. So if I go back to my, my attribute table, again, you see there's 1909 selected records. I'm going to use the field calculator to say, firstly, I'm going to create a new field. Let's uh, call it age class. It can be a whole number because it is only going to be from 1 to 5. I'm going to classify that as 1. And remember, it is only going to update that selected 1909. So now say OK. It's going to add a new field and classify the selected features as one. You see there is the classifications one. So the next one we will uh, look at uh, the second class. This is then from 690 to 1244. I'm going to use this one again. So the selection will be from now it is uh, greater than and equal to 690 and smaller than this 1244. The selection between that ranges. So select this again 1745. Go to my attribute table. I'm just going to, to move the selector to the top. And this one will be then two. Okay, I'm going to use the field calculator again, but now I'm going to update the existing field. The field will be age class and it will be two. So I'm now populating my second class class using age. You will see it will then change to two if I if this is finished, so there is my second class. The third class then is between 1244 and 200 of 2146. So I'm going to use my my um, select by expression again. Now it is greater the and equal to 1244 and it is smaller than two, one, four, six. Okay, do the selection. You see that I don't close this after the selection so that I can use it again. You have seen the uh, number of selection there going to my uh, attribute table. 
now there were 4, 437 records selected. I'm going to go through the same process, open my uh, field calculator, update existing one, existing field, age, and now it's going to be 3. You see if I again rank it, so you say the top ones are the 3's now. So I go through the process again. The next class will be then the fourth one, 2,146 to 3,403. Go to my select by expression. Again, I'm going to change this. Word age above 60 equal and greater than 2146. And then smaller than 3,400. And three to select features again. And I see this 191 selected. Go to my table of contents on the table to, uh, attribute table. You see there is the 191. Again, I'm going to change that to four. My field calculator. Update existing field. Age and four. Again, if I see this my four, the next one will be the the fifth one, this one I can say then uh, between 3,403 and 7,371. Again, go to my select by expression, change this to 3,400 and then 7,371. Select, I see there's 108. Go to my attribute table, 108. Again, now update existing field. And then H class. And I can say 5. So there I have my, my 5 classes. I just want to see these two that did not. You can see that is uh, the one that is... 7371 just bigger than the 7371 that we have chosen here so I can just edit it to 5 that is a 5 that one is three, uh, just bigger than 36 So that is uh, just smaller than 37, so I'm going to also edit it, so it's going to be 1. And then I will save my edits. Next we're going to look at population uh, size, so what I'm going to do first is to to symbolize the gender total that sh shows the number of population of people per ward. Again, I'm going to leave it uh, at natural breaks. So there is now the new class four for total of population. And I'm going to go through the same process of selecting my total number of people. So I open my select by expression, again my fields, and then total bigger, and equal to, let's see, remember we did the uh, 80, 845, but let's make it 844 to and smaller than eight thousand one hundred and forty four. Smaller, okay, let's select. Okay, we selected 
1885 from the 4392 again first we are going to create a new field we're going to call this population class whole number remember the first one will be one then we say okay it's going to create a new field here the ones okay the next one we're going to again use that selection I just want to check okay bigger than and equal to 8144 smaller than 13,122 do the selection 1492 1492 and I'm going to, to use this calculator again but I'm going to update the existing field and remember it is the population class now and I'm going to say it must replace it with 2 Next, we're going to classify the gender total to represent population distribution. Again, graduated, if value is gender total and it is natural breaks. Again, then the classification, and now we're going to reclass that using the field calculator. Okay, let's start. Well, before that, we must do a select by expression. We're going to use that information fields gender total. Remember, then it, it is bigger and equals to let's say one less than 845844. And important the and smaller than one eight one eight one four four say so select and you see this thing that uh, one thousand eight hundred and eighty five selected I'm not going to close this one but let's look at the <coughs> the attribute table of the word information there you see, maybe we can just rank it. So there it is. If I go back to my select, here's the selection. And here, here is the information. And now we can, can use the field calculator. Just want to see that I can see that information as well. So I use my uh, field calculator. The selected 1885 create a new field let's call that population class and in this case it is one <coughs> okay just rank that again so there's my one again i go back to my Selection. Let's change this thing to 8144, smaller than the 13,000. 13,122. Select. They said 1,492. Back to my table. 1,492. And now I'm going to use my field calculator again, but not to create a new field, but to update the existing field, population class, and now the next class is two. So I go through the whole process again. 
Okay, so I go back to my select by expression, change that to one three, one two two, and smaller than two two zero zero one. It's select four six two. Go to my four six two two. Field calculator again, 462, update the population class, and now it is 3. Okay, let's see, 3. Okay, the next one is then 22001, smaller than 33616. Three, 377, 377, use the field calculator again, update the existing field population, and now it is 4, four. okay, the next one, 33616, smaller than, I'm just going to make it one more, so it's 80, Five three four one seven six one seven six field calculator again existing field and make that then a five so I just want to clear the selection it is cleared and now I have my my age class and my population class and now I now combine that let's say we're going to use a sum you can use multiplication as well but let's use sum to combine the two so again the field calculator let's call it um, main class a whole number fields we're going to plus H class and population class. If you look at that H class plus population class in the main class, so okay. So there it is, H class two, population class two, sum together is four. So I can just then finish it here and save my calculations and then I'm going to symbolize it so that we can see where is the highest risk okay, if we go back to our map now I can close this one and I'm going to symbolize it again symbology I'm going to stay with graduated but now I change the value to main class I want maybe it is in blue, Jenks and classify. Let's see if this, what is the result? If you look, if you use the five classes again, we can see the two areas or three or four areas around Cape Town, Gauteng, I think Port Elizabeth and then here to the urban side is where the is a higher risk possible risk uh, for COVID and we map that using combination of data.